Hello everybody, this is Robin Murphy with The Ladies Acrylic Art. I had posted this chain pull that I did today and I got a great, I mean amazing response to it. I am just overwhelmed, uh, loss of words to say the least. I had, sorry, I'm going to stumble through my words through this, so I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I had watched a lot of videos on uh, string pulling, and I've seen chain pulling as well, and I really like the way chain pulling does. So after watching someone's video, I decided that I was going to try this technique and I used yarn and it just didn't go well. I should have brought it over here to show you, but I fell in love with it even though it wasn't quite pretty. I knew it wasn't going to be pretty to begin with, but, but anyways, so on, so I went looking on Amazon and I found the ball chains, which are actually for necklaces when you're doing crafting. And I bought a bag of 50 of them for $7.99. And that was two days, let's see, three days ago and they arrived yesterday. So today, all I did was just white paint and just flooded the canvas and tilted it, most of the paint off. Well, not all of it, but quite a deal on it. I didn't want to go overboard and have too much uh, paint on the canvas. And then in one of my videos, I had, in the, one of the videos I had seen, they had laid down their uh, string on a, some plastic wrap and then dig colors in a line and then they laid down uh, their yarn over it and then used a stir stick or popsicle stick and pushed the uh, string into the paint and then they went to their canvas and did their little spirals and stuff and it just really turned out great even though I had bought the chain I thought this uh, this morning after 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time while I was at lunch, I worked from home, so I had an hour to play. This took me less than a half hour, I'm pretty sure. I wondered if I could do the same thing, putting the chain in the paint, if it would give me the same effect as, as that uh, artist did. Now, the paint was really thin, and I, like I said, I just poured it and then started doing this. I probably should have waited at least a half hour before I started doing this. So the white paint kind of settled in, but it wasn't. It was freshly wet. So on here, I used, what is this? Purple iris magenta, a yellow, a lime green, and a darker green. I wanted these two for like the um, the leaves here or the stems. As you can see, it turned out wispy because the, the paint was really fresh. So the, uh, the paint on the ball chain kind of sunk in. But you know what? It turned out beautifully. It reminds me of like a fairy tale of sorts. Now, if it had, had it been, if I had waited a half hour to an hour, I probably would have gotten more definition uh, in these. But you know what? I don't care. I mean, this is just a major win for me because a lot of things I've done lately hasn't gone as well as planned. But... 
yeah, I just wanted to tell you, you know, what I did. There's no silicone. It's just basically um, uh, silicone and paint. That's all I used on here. I probably could have torched this and see if I could have came up with cells and had, you know, the other colors come up from behind. But that's not what I was going for. I wasn't going up for for cells. I did torch uh, the white and got all the bubbles out uh, beforehand because I really didn't want bubbles in it or indentations. So that is uh, what I did. If you have any other questions or concerns on how I did it, I will try to explain it to you best I can. I am not a pro at this. I'm just starting. I'm learning. Um, I can't even get my balloon smashes the way I want them to, and I'm not creating the cells that I want to. So I have a long way to go. But please, uh, like this and subscribe to my channel and I will do more videos in the future. Thank you for listening.